Good morning, Unit 3, Mechanical Properties. Already we have seen tensile strength and hardness. Now we will focus on micro hardness of the material. In hardness testing, a heavy load ranging from 60 kg to 150 kg is used. Whereas in micro hardness testing, a minimum or micro load ranging from 10 gram to 1000 gram is used. Generally, the micro harness measurements is done by two testing methods, Wickers harness testing and Noob harness testing. The method involved in Wickers harness testing is very similar to Brinell harness method. In Wickers harness test, an indenter, which is diamond, square based pyramid is used. The angle formed between two opposite faces is 136 degree. It looks similar like a, a prism. When such indenter is placed on the surface of the material and load is applied, a square shaped impression is produced. The diagonal length of the square D1 and D2 are measured from optical microscope. The average diagonal length is calculated from the formula D equal to D1 plus D2 by 2. The principle involved in Wickers harness testing is a diamond square based pyramid indenter is used whose opposite face angle is 136 degree. A known load is applied on the tops applied from the top surface. A square shaped impression is produced on the surface of the material. Knowing the Wickers hardness number, the hardness of the testing sample is measured. The Wickers hardness formula is VHN is equal to load divided by surface area, which is equal to 2P sin theta by 2 divided by D square where theta is the opposite face angle and it's equal to 136 degree. Knowing sine theta by 2 and multiplying with 2, we get 1.854 capital P by D square. Knowing the applied load capital P and average diagonal length small d, the hardness of the material is calculated from Wickers hardness number. The instrumentations involved in Wickers harness testing is shown here. So you have a load which has to be placed from the top surfaces. The testing sample is placed on the anvil with the help of the lifting shaft and hand wheel. An indenter diamond square based pyramid is placed and comes in contact with the testing sample. After an impression is formed, the impressions or the diagonal length is calculated with the help of optical microscope which is provided with two objective lenses 10x and 40x. Both the x and y directions can be measured with the help of xy stage. So the procedure or the testing procedure involved in Victor's hardness is place the specimen on the anvil and raised up to indenter. A known load is applied from the top surface. The indenter is pressed for nearly 50 to 20 seconds and this time period is called the dwell time. The indenter leaves a square impression so the average diagonal length of the impression is measured with the help of optical microscope. Knowing the applied load and the diagonal length, the hardness is calculated from the Wickers hardness number. Now the advantages and disadvantages under Wickers hardness testing is the method is widely used for both soft and hard materials as the load goes from 10 grams to 1000 grams. Here, only one type of indenter is used. The method involved is non-destructive in nature, so the specimen can be used for 
further purposes. Under disadvantages, the test location must be well prepared. It should be polished and grounded for precise readings. Both the preparation time and testing time is long. So it is a time consuming method. The personal error due to operator reading the diagonal length may arise. The second micro hardness testing method is Noop hardness test. The method is very similar to Wicker hardness method except a different indenter is used. The indenter is diamond pyramidical shape. The angle formed between the transverse direction and the transverse angle is equal to 130 degree whereas the angle formed in longitudinal direction is the longitudinal angle and it's equal to 172 degree 30 minutes which is nothing but 172.5 degree. When the base forms an impression it is similar to a rhombus shape where the Longitudinal diagonal small d is nearly seven times greater than transverse diagonal small b. Therefore, small d equal to 7b. The principle involved in Wicker's hardness testing is a diamond pyramidical shape indenter is used whose transverse angle is 130 degree and longitudinal angle is 172 degree 13 minutes. When such indenter is placed on the surface of the testing specimen and a known load is applied from the top surface, a rhombic shaped impression is formed. From the rhombic shape, the average diagonal length D1 plus D2 divided by 2 is measured from the optical microscope. Knowing the applied load and the average diagonal length small d, the hardness of the material is measured from Noop hardness number. The Noop hardness number is given by the formula load by surface area. Substituting the transverse angle and the longitudinal angle, the final formula arrives as 14.229 capital P by D square. Knowing the applied load capital P and average diagonal length small d, the hardness of the material is calculated from the noob hardness number. The advantages and disadvantages of noob hardness are tabulator. Under advantages, the method is applicable to test thin and brittle samples where no other methods are applicable. Here only one type of indenter is used. The specimen damage is lesser and compared to Wicker's method. The measurement is more accurate as longitudinal diagonal is longer than indentation depth. Under disadvantages, the quality of testing specimen must be good, polished and properly grounded. Both the preparation time and testing time are long, so again it is a time consuming method. Handling the specimen and reading optical microscope is little difficult compared to Wicker's method. Thank you.